this afternoon and uh, picked our youth who were seated in the FDC Kampala office and training because that office, what we're using, is for training each other, to empower each other. So they were seated uh, having a chat, uh, talking in politics, because that office is about politics. And then we and I, I am told that there was a, a, a lady who was uh, dressed as a clad in Muslim clergy who we actually, I think I know, who was here and running around with phones. Everybody said how they was they thought she was calling uh, people who they did not know her up. They might run away. And they came and picked our people, even including those that had brought it for them. Those that had come to sell airtime to them. Well, they were all picked. But we suspect that they thought that they were planning for Monday, the Monday event. Because uh, apparent as you are aware, they, uh, Mr. Seven and team know that what they are planning on Monday is a very unpopular move. They are not talking anything like uh, anything subversive against the regime. It is very unfortunate, but I believe that because of the kind of poverty we have in this country, it is this kind of poverty that is forcing people to work for the regime and get a few peanuts. Yes, uh, we've arrested uh, 15 uh, youths. They were holding uh, an illegal meeting at City House. Uh, their main discussion, of course, was about uh, the age limit bill that is uh, going to be discussed on Monday, and they were planning on how to destabilize uh, the city on that day. We found them with placards, posters, on, and uh, writings on what they are going to be supplying around the city. So we learned of the meeting, and we went as 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 we had. Uh, Organ uh, we were well organized and we arrested 15 of them and they are being held at Nagalama police station as the investigations continue. We've charged them, of course, with uh, holding illegal meetings and uh, inciting violence.